Grandstands round 22 match of the day in the SANFL is the game between Central District and Glenelg at Elizabeth. And Chris, I would say Centrals are in the peak of form, aren't they? They've got a small injury list and they've really come on in the second half of the season. Oh, isn't this ominous for the rest of the competition, Neil? Central District coming right in August and September. This is just the sort of thing that Elizabeth Faith would have been looking forward to. And they are playing pretty good form at the moment. Strung together three in a row recently. So the confidence is really starting to course through a young playing group that in a lot of cases hasn't been to the Premiership well as yet. And what about uh, the Tigers? We know they've struggled late in the season, but certainly they did look the goods early in the season and they did beat Centrals early in the season. Indeed they did, but it shows the difference the AFL listed players makes, doesn't it? They lost the likes of Lions, Lynch, Shaw, all of these sorts of players there as well. They really have struggled in the second half of the season, Glenelg. Trying to avoid a wooden spoon at the moment. They're starting to look towards 2014 more than anything else at the moment, Neil. This is going to be a pretty tough one, you would say, for the Tigers. What's a good margin for them in the end? I think, to be honest, they'd be happy with eight goals at the moment, and that probably really sums up exactly the big difference in the lists at the moment there. Centrals, they're marching on towards much bigger and better things. Watch out for the rest of the competition. <laughs> OK, join us for all the action on Saturday afternoon on ABC One in South Australia and the Northern Territory. It's Centrals against Glenelg. On Sunday, Port against West Adelaide. Sturt taking on South Adelaide. And the Eagles playing Norwood at Woodville.